Hey, what's up? This is Todd Smith. I'm back with another video. In this video, I want to talk about Behringer and the Clone Wars. Everybody knows Behringer has been remaking synthesizers of various vintage models. But I feel some of the sound demos that have come out on NAMM are highly impressive. On top of that, these unbelievable price tags. I mean, is that like making the boutique scratch themselves on the head and saying, where are we going to go from here? I mean, I, I I loved my boutiques and I, I mean, they're great, but you're getting full fledged units for the same price that have full fledged keys. I mean, and the sound is absolutely stellar from what I've heard. I, I'm completely blown away. Um, and I, I mean, I guess haters are going to hate and they're never going to stop hating, but I don't even know how Behringer haters can really even step up to the plate after some of these sound demos that we've seen from Nam and the price tags that they're throwing at these machines that have all these amazing features. It's going to be pretty hard. I, I think some of these synthesizer companies definitely on the budget end are going to step up to the plate because... Behringer is coming in really strong with what I say, you know, Attack of the Clone Wars at this point. I am absolutely, uh, honestly, waiting to see what they do with the Imposter. That little yellow synth is something I've loved on the VST end for a long time. And I've always loved the concept of a hardware piece, but, every, you know, those things are impossible almost to find these days. And if they do a decent price on an Oscar, I I, I don't even know. Like it, it, they're going to be hard to compete with on the budget end. I know they're always going to have haters. I know that's never going to go away. But I I mean, even they must be kind of very impressed what they've seen over the last couple of days when it comes to sound qualities, price tag, feature set. I mean, it's just, they're just nailing it absolutely out of the park. I've yet to buy any of the new Behringer synths. Um, the Neutron looks very interesting to me. The Deep Mind looks great, but I just don't really think it's something I particularly need or will end up getting. I mean, you never know. The ARP looks right up my alley. And Oscar, like I said, or the Imposter would, would be absolutely great. I'd love that. It's in... I've, there's rumors of them going on to the Jupiter 8 and various other synths, which, I mean, to me, these are synths, I know they're nothing new, and some people are going to be like, oh, they're pushing nothing new into the future, but the fact that these synths are wanted because the price tags are so high. So what do you think about Behringer and what's going on with the Clone Wars? Do you think they're just rehashing the same old blah, 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 and it's nothing you're really interested in or do you think it's really cool because this is gear that you've wanted for a while and they're now making it accessible to you at a great price i'd love to know what you guys think about behringer and what you think they're going to be doing to the synthesizer world in the future with these budget releases and these clones until next time stay positive stay creative support each other and peace